Could I please have the father of Adam Awada please report to the where the processional is coming in, the exit and back. The father of Adam Awada please report to the back by where the processional is coming in. Thank you. Excellent, Mr. Kalis. Thank you. Thank you. Graduates, please remain standing. Please remain standing. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, it is my privilege and honor to introduce you to the Etzel Ford High School graduating class of 2014. Graduates, please remain standing, and I would like to call on our 2015 class president to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance at the conclusion of our national anthem. Everyone, please rise.
pledges of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, parents, students, staff, guests, and soon-to-be graduates of Etzel Ford High School. This year's senior class has made outstanding contributions to building a vibrant learning community by initiating a diversity of connections within the school and within our community. The early days of school this year presented us with numerous challenges, to say the least. But you were the leaders that set the example and allowed us to grow both academically and socially like never before. What I took away from those days is our potential as human beings is limitless. I further believe that our purpose in life is to serve humanity and make a mark on our community which distinguishes us from others. That's what Thunderbirds do. Class of 2014, you have convinced me over the course of this year through interactions in the hallways, classrooms, cafeteria and events that each one of you will contribute positively to this world. In just a few minutes, the class of 2014 will receive diplomas to mark their graduation from high school. The diplomas these graduates receive represent years of hard work, commitment, dedication and achievement and will mark a turning point in the lives of these young people. Certainly the class of 2014 will be greatly missed and most of us here tonight can testify that they are much more than grade point averages, great athletic performances, and athletic achievements. These cl this class has accomplished things in style. And I leave you with this. The funny thing about real life is that there are no longer daily objectives on the board to guide you. Learning becomes more difficult to quantify and most real life tests are unannounced especially tests involving your character, ethics, and empathy for others. Class of 2014, set your goals high and strive to develop your skills and potential, but be careful in how you measure your success. Rather than be the best in the world, strive to be the best for the world. By being the best for the world, you will constantly be challenged to in independently develop your own unique talents and only you will be able to judge the success of your life. Your growth will be challenging, meaningful, fulfilling, and most importantly, lifelong. By striving to be best for the world, you will guarantee the gifts you have now will be fully realized and a legacy of which we can all be proud. Seniors, thank you for an excellent year. Well done. Etzel Ford High School is blessed to have so many friends and supporters. Please allow me to introduce to you our honored guests for this evening. Kindly hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Hussein Berry, President, Dearborn Board of Education. Mr. Brian Whiston, Superintendent, Dearborn Public Schools. Mr. James Schoolmaster, Vice President, Dearborn Board of Education. Ms. Roxanne McDonald, Treasurer, Dearborn Board of Education and Etzel Ford Parent. Ms. Amy Shellis, Secretary, Dearborn Board of Education. Ms. Pamela Adams, Trustee, Dearborn Board of Education. Dr. Gail Shankman, Associate Superintendent, Student Achievement. Dr. Jill Chokel, Executive Director, Elementary Education. Dr. Glenn Malenko, Executive Director, Staff and Student Services. Troy Patterson, Director, Media and Technology. Robert Cederlin, Director, Human Resources, Instructional. Dave Mustanen, Director, Communications. Our keynote speaker for this evening, Etzel Ford alumnus, Mr. Jordan Papp. Ms. Patty Harshorn, President of Etzel Ford PTSA and proud Etzel Ford parent. Mr. Brian Jackman, Etzel Ford Booster Club President and proud Etzel parent. Ms. Leslie Burnett, current secretary and incoming president, Crescendo Club and proud Etzel Ford parent. 
Our administrative team at Edsel Ford, assistant principals, Ms. Sue Noland and Ms. Zaina Jabril. Math coordinator, Ms. Dana Addis. Language arts coordinator, Ms. Gretchen Bajoric. Community liaison, Mr. Khalil Daglala. And our counseling staff, Ms. Garam Nasser. Mr. Abraham Baydoun. Mr. Craig Kiefer. Ms. Gail Welmers. And our graduation intervention specialist, Mr. Kareem Naimi. And of course, our 2014 valedictorian, Ms. Hafsa Abdullah. Our class of 2014 salutatorian, Mr. Khalid Tawil, who is headed to Harvard this fall. And of course, let me please acknowledge all of the awesome Etzel Ford faculty and staff in attendance today. Please stand. These people have come together since day one this year, and they definitely deserve that applause, and everybody seated before me knows that. You are about to meet a true student advocate. Please enter, let me introduce to you our Dearborn Public Schools Board President, Mr. Hussein Barry. His leadership on the Dearborn Board of Education continues to shape the future of our school and our district. Please help me welcome President Barry. Good evening and thank you for joining our students today as they begin the next exciting phase of their lives. On behalf of the faculty, staff, cabinet, and my colleagues on the Dearborn Board of Education, it is my great honor to welcome you to the 2014 Etzel Ford High School Commencement Ceremony. I would like to start by saying thank you. Thank you parents, friends, family, and loved ones, faculty and staff who have supported these wonderful students during their academic studies. Your support and encouragement has helped these students achieve success and happiness, and for that I am very grateful to you. I would also like to express my deepest thanks to our graduating students. You have entrusted the Dearborn Public Schools with perhaps one of your most important goals, an education. I hope that we served you well. I hope that you have made lasting relationships, found what you desire most in your life, and realized the potential you have. Words alone cannot convey our appreciation for entrusting us in helping you achieve your educational goals. You represent the best in our schools. I have no doubt you will lead exemplary lives of service to your family, community, and country. You are what makes this district great. You bring pride to our community through your academic and career pursuits. Most importantly, through care you take with your relationships. Think back, way back, to the first day of kindergarten. You may, you may have been nervous. You may have been excited and unsure where the road's going to lead. But through perseverance and commitment, you have achieved in the classroom, built relationships, and the, built relationships to last a lifetime, gave of yourself to your school and community, and accomplished the goals of successfully completing your education here at Sofort High School. Don't stop. Keep pushing yourself as you've done in the past. You have the talent, the drive, the care, and the commitment to make an impact on everyone you meet. You can and will make a difference in life. Many people in the coming days and weeks will offer you advice as you take the next step in life it may be difficult to take in all their inspiring thoughts. Commencement speeches are often filled with this kind of advice. 
It would be easy for me to stand here and offer you more advice, but instead, I would offer this small thought. Be caring. Care for your loved ones, your friends, your colleagues, and your community. Show how much you care every day, in your job, in your home, and when you're out and about and meeting with your friends. Be passionate in your care for everyone around you, for the work you do, and for the community where you live. When, when you show through actions how much you care, you do make a positive impact on those around you. Your care might just rub off and spread to the next person sitting behind you. And so today, I congratulate you on a job well done and on making an impact at Etzel Ford High School. Thank you, graduates, for making a lasting impact on this school, on this great school. And I look forward to hearing of your successes in the years to follow. Good luck to each and every one of you. Thank you, President Berry. Now, please enjoy a vocal selection from the Etzel Ford Performing Arts Seniors and Mr. Robert Doyle. Listen as they perform What I Did for Love from a chorus line, Hamlish.
Splendid. Thank you. Six years ago, Mr. Brian Whiston took over the leadership of our district as new superintendent. He has worked tirelessly to bring change and rigor despite many financial and ever-changing education standards and laws. He continues to challenge us on a daily basis to improve student achievement and parent involvement. Mr. Whiston continues to support our school and provide a clear vision for our district. Please help me welcome Mr. Brian Whiston. Thank you, Scott, and certainly congratulations, Scott, on a very successful year. So good evening, Thunderbirds and graduates and parents and family members. Graduates, good luck to you, congratulations to you, and I wish you much success. As seniors, you've heard these comments many times over the last few days, and I'm sure over the next few weeks you'll hear them more. See, as our next generation of leaders and decision makers, parents and workers, we all are behind you and want you to be successful, not only for your benefit, but also for our own. However, what is successful and what does it mean to be successful is different for all. See, the measure of success is not the same for everyone. The important thing is how will you, graduates, define success? That's right, you have to answer that question, not your friends, not your teachers, not your parents, only you will be able to define what is success for you as you move forward. The 14th Dalai Lama said happiness is not something ready-made, it comes from your own actions. If you're looking for proof that success and happiness comes from your own actions, just look around you. Particularly look at your teachers and administrators. No, they're not rock stars, they're not celebrities walking the halls, but they are very successful professionals who each day make a difference in the lives of your, your, all of you and your fellow students. These are successful student, students and successful teachers. Students, I'd like you to thank your teachers for what they have done to help you be successful today. Your family has also made a difference in your lives. They've showed you happiness and success. They've supported you. They've provided you strength and love and support for all that you have done. Students, take a moment to look and thank your parents and your family members for what they've done to help you get here today. The opportunity to choose how you will be successful in life now lies in front of you. But remember the words of the Chinese philosopher La Zhu, who said, watch your thoughts, they may become words. Watch your words, they may become actions. Watch your actions, they may become your habits. Watch your habits, they may become character. Watch your character because it becomes your destiny. For some of you, your success may impact the entire nation, while others simply will be the person who steps up and makes a difference in one life or in your neighborhood. One of you today may create a product that will revolutionize an industry, and someone else may just work hard to make sure a handful of coworkers have a better environment. Someone sitting here tonight could end up being admired by millions, but more likely, all of you at some point in your life will be a hero to just a single person, and that is being successful. When it comes to defining success, don't let others define it for you. Each of you has the ability to be successful in life and choose your own level of happiness. My parting words to you, Thunderbirds, are choose wisely and congratulations. It is my honor and privilege to introduce our main speaker for this evening, Mr. Jordan Papp, who has graciously accepted our invitation to address our Etzel Ford Class of 2014 commencement. Please let me tell you a little bit about Jordan. Jordan attended Oil Smith Middle School and then Etzel Ford High School. He went on to earn an undergraduate degree in criminal justice and is pursuing a graduate degree in criminal justice. Jordan's academic achievements include graduating with a 4.0 GPA in criminal justice and with a magna cum laude distinction in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. He currently maintains a 3.9 grade point average in his graduate studies. His athletic accomplishments include academic All-American in swimming, being named captain of the Wayne State University men's swim and dive team. 
He was also a member of four conference championship swim teams at Wayne State. His future plans include comp completing a master's degree and PhD in criminal justice and ultimately becoming a professor in criminal justice. Please welcome Jordan Papp. All right, I'm going to keep this short and sweet for everybody. All right, first I'd, uh, I have to start with the thank yous. Thank you to Mr. Case Bolt and Mr. Picano for asking me to come and give a commencement speech, believing I'd make it a good one. Hopefully I don't disappoint them. Thank you to my parents and girlfriend for showing up to watch me sweat my way through this whole speech. Uh, I would also like to congratulate my father on his recent retirement from the Dearborn Public Schools after 41 years with the system. That's like twice my life. <laughs> Last, I'd like to give a retrospective thank you to the faculty at Etzel Ford for preparing me to get where I am in my uh, educational career today. So basically I want to make this speech about hard work because in my opinion it is the number one thing that you can do to prepare yourself for the next stage in all of your lives. I will connect this notion of hard work to my swimming career at Wayne State. I began my swimming career much later than most other athletes in the sport. I started in the eighth grade which put me at a big disadvantage to those that had already been swimming since they were barely out of their diapers. When I, when I began my career in the pool I had quite a lot of work to do just to catch up to the rest of the field. I began, my sw I began my swimming career just simply on a whim uh, because a friend thought it would be fun if we did it together. Uh, then after a few years of swimming I decided uh, it was time to give up all other sports and put all my time and effort into it. Uh, oh yeah, and leave a little bit of time for school I guess. Uh, as I began to focus on my athletics I started to understand the hard work it would take to complete my goal of becoming a collegiate athlete. <coughs> This made me decide late my junior year uh, that with the chance to be a collegiate athlete it was time to fu fully commit to swimming. I started practicing twice a day all year round, not just during the high school season. Off season I would wake up at 5 a.m. This is during school so I could lift before school and then after school I'd have to go back to practice. Oh yeah, and then I would study. All of the hard work ended up paying off as I received an offer to swim at Wayne State. During my career there, the, the hard work only intensified, but it ended up paying off as I was named captain and also earned four conference championships during my career there. So basically the moral of the story here is if you want, if for, any, for whatever you want, work hard for it. Nothing will get you farther than a lot of hard work. Finally, I will end, my, <coughs> I will end the speech on a little, with a little bit of personal advice and that's just simply go out and continue your educations. Take what I've learned from being on the job market and understanding what it really takes to get a job in the society. Go, go on to larger institutions, technical schools, and give Etzel a good name for what it is. Unless you are developing the next big technology in your basement like Bill Gates. And if in that case, let me know and we'll go in half these. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone and congrats Etzel Ford, 2004, class 2014. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan is joined tonight by his mother, Miss Nancy Papp, of course his father, Rick Papp, go ahead and stand, please, and his girlfriend, Kayla Scott, please stand and get acknowledged. And if I could have your father, Mr. Rick Papp, keep standing and please accept a small token of appreciation on behalf of Etzel Ford. As Jordan mentioned, Rick is retiring from Dearborn Public Schools after 41 years of service. We'd like to thank you both for your presence here tonight. Thank you. It's the keys to a new car. Hey. <laughs> two, two cars. <laughs> thank you, Rick. Our next speaker is the class of 2014 senior class president. In my notes, I had Ben Timpf. He corrected me. It's Mr. Benjamin Timpf, as voted by his peers. Ben is joined by his parents, Mary and Donald Timpf, as well as his sister, Etzel alum, Megan Timpf. Welcome. Ben's future plans include attending Oakland University on scholarship to study musical theater. I am proud to introduce to you Mr. Benjamin Timpf.
The countdown is done, but as the door slowly closes on us, another one starts to open, for the past does not leave us unprepared. It has gone ahead of us to make ready the future. This is not our ending, life is waiting. The yearbook staff of the Ethelford class of 1965 summed up senior year very eloquently. Senior year was a roller coaster of emotions from that great feeling of your la last math test to that conflicted feeling of your last game of performance. And finally, we are at the end. We have been at the top for a whole year. And now, as those of us who are entering college, we are pushed right, ba right back down to the bottom being a freshman. For those who are pursuing other things, whether you're going to a trained school, going to the military, taking, just taking some time off, or going straight into a job, we will feel like the new kid wherever we are, but we'll still be on top for a while, at least for the rest of the summer. As we carpool from one grad party to the next, seeing who has the best food or the coolest party, it will seem like the summer will never end, and when, it and when reality will hit, we will, reality will eventually hit, and then we will soak up the spotlight. Our parents and guardians are thrilled and astounded we've actually graduated. Seriously, our parents and guardians are awesome people and they've done so much for us for 18 years. They've actually lived with us without ju jumping off a cliff and that in itself is a feat. Make sure you look at whoever you are with today, today in the eye and thank them for everything, even if you had a rough relationship. Whoever got you to where you are today deserves your thanks. I've known some of you since elementary school. We spent a lot of class time together, from the fun of the playground to that horribly awkward middle school days. Thank, us, thank goodness we made it to high school. High school has been a great experience. Just think about how much we've learned. We learned to speak a foreign language, some more successful than others. We learned geomet geometric angles and algebraic expressions, and consequently, some unprintable expressions. We learned to write a decent essay and read some great literature. We were able to do this due to our fantastic education our teachers have given us. High school has honed our abilities and talents in so many ways. Now, we're taking what we've learned into the world. We'll also take each other because all that time together has made us who we are. We're ready to move on, much to the amazement of our teachers and parents. We have our plans set and dreams to be fulfilled. When you are out there, just remember what Christopher Robbins said to Winnie the Pooh. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. But the most important thing is even if we're apart, I'll always be with you. No matter how far you sh from home you stray or how many years pass, you will always be able to return home to Etzel Ford, to, to our Thunderbird family, and we will all always bleed black and white. Congratulations and thank you so much. Well said, Benjamin. Thank you. Please sit back and enjoy the following choral selection entitled I Was Here by Lady Antebellum Billingsley, performed by the Etzel Ford Vocal Ensemble and Mr. Robert Doyle. me I'll be making my mark like initials carved in an old oak tree you wait and see I'm all talk, 
you're in for a shock Cause this dream's too strong And before too long Maybe I'll compose symphonies Maybe I'll fight for world peace Cause I know it's my destiny To leave more than a trace of myself in this place I want to do something that matters Say something different Beautiful. Well done. Thank you. Now please help me welcome our student large speaker who was selected by a team of school officials to represent the student body at large through a speech submission format. Please help me welcome our speaker, your 2014 valedictorian, Ms. Hafsa Abdullah. Before I begin, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. So thank you to our parents and family members who are present. Thank you to our teachers, administrators, and everybody who's here. Um, as for you, my classmates, I'd like to dedicate a few words to you. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think and not make thoughts your own. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to, broken and stoop and build them with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it all on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can for force your heart and nerve and to know to serve, your, to serve your turn long after they are gone and hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can look back 50 years from now and smile at all that you have done, then you as the four Thunderbirds have learned the true meaning of success. On this day, June 13, 2014, we finish yet another chapter of our lives and begin a new one. Having lived through the pop quizzes, our exams, and essays, I think we should be proud to have made it here in one piece. This day is a milestone for all of us, and it is to our loved ones that we owe our sincere thanks. After today, we leave the security of high school, our friends and teachers, to discover and build new groups of our own. Who knows where our separate outs will take us beyond Edsel Ford. Here together, we prevailed, we learned, we celebrated, and now we've risen. We've risen more fervent than we had started. We've risen more self-reliant and more puzzled than we had begun. We've risen as the smartest we've ever been, the most involved and the most sleep deprived. We've risen as the characters we were meant to be, whole and absolute. No additions, asterisks, or annotations. I can't foresee the future, what the world will be like in 10 years. I only know that whatever paths we choose to take, they won't be easy. But we will be ready to face whatever comes our way. My favorite word is learn, not because of the power of the word itself, but the power of what each letter stands for. The L stands for life. It might be shocking to hear this after four years of high school, but life will no longer be about placing a comma in the right place of a sentence or knowing what the derivative of an equation is. You'll learn that life is beautiful, but it isn't always easy. 
There is not one person on earth, wise or wealthy, that has not experienced struggle or failure. If you do know a person, let me know. Life is full of moments of happiness and sorrow, success and failure, victory and defeat. But that's what makes it so enjoyable. I've learned that life is like a rose. It's beautiful, but its thorns are a big part of it. A wise man once said, Life is not about warming yourself by the fire. Life is about building the fire, and generosity is the match. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. But if you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. The purpose of life is to make a difference in the, in the lives of those around you. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to build a hospital or, make, or donate a million dollars, but you can make a difference with the smallest of actions. The E stands for embrace. Because to find success, you need to learn your embrace, to embrace your mistakes and failures first. To fail is human, but to stand up from that failure is courage. Bill Gates said, it's fine to celebrate success, but it's more important to heed the lessons of failure. Our failures teach us more about ourselves, so use them to build upon your success. We will face harsh times where we will think that it's the end of the world, but it's really just the beginning. When you face this time, remember that failure is a step closer to success and you will prevail over any obstacle that comes your way. The A stands for achieve, because that is what each and every one of you is capable of. To achieve is when you say, I can and I will. Set goals for yourself and work a lifetime to accomplish them. You all have what it takes to be successful. We're all intelligent and talented in our own ways. What you can conceive in your mind, believe in your heart, you can achieve with your efforts. Nothing, nothing is easy. Not, I mean, nothing is impossible. It's just a degree of difficulty. If you want to be the future president, do it. If you want to invent the cure for cancer, go do it. If you want to be the captain of the NBA, then do it. But don't be the 40-year-old living in your parents' basement. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Go chase those opportunities. And if the chances of you achieving your goal is one in a million, then be that one. The R stands for rules. When you enter the real world, don't constrain yourselves by the rules that were created by those before you. Don't follow the steps of another person. Make your own. Be a leader, not a follower. We only get to live one life, so make the most of it, most of it and don't settle for second best. The N stands for most people's favorite adverb, never. How many times have we told ourselves that we can never do this or do that? I know personally for me it has been over a million times. When I was in middle school, I told myself that I could never ever graduate from high school, but here I am wearing a cap and gown ready to take on the world. Take chances and dream high because anything is possible. As we embark on our separate journeys, chances are we might never see each other again. But we're all united in that we're all Thunderbirds. And once a Thunderbird, always a Thunderbird. As you move on to your future endeavors, remember what each letter of learn stands for. And yes, there is a big chance that you will fail, but there is also a bigger chance that you won't. And now go and make mistakes. Break rules. Find yourselves and succeed. Climb the mountain not to plant your flag, but to embrace the challenge, enjoy the air, and behold the view. Climb it so you can see the world, not so the world can see you. And congratulations. Well said, Hafsa. Thank you. Now please join me on this wonderful occasion in enjoying a special musical selection by the Etzelford High School Symphony Band led by Mr. Michael Kalis. The symphony band will be performing Along the Beaches of Normandy by Tyler Grant.
Well done, as always. Thank you. Splendid. I would like to take a moment and recognize the class of 2014 student leaders who have contributed to the brand and legacy of Etzel Ford High School during the past four years. These students have worked very hard to lead Etzel's student body to the next level. Audience, please hold your applause until all the names have been announced. Students, please stand when I call your name. Class of 2014 President, Mr. Benjamin Timpf. <laughs> Vice President, Ms. Rebecca Hutzel. Secretary, Courtney Dodge. Treasurer, Jessica Batchelder. Representative, Alex Henwood. Representative, Travis Stroney. Representative, Hadil Hyder. Our student council officers, Vice President, Abir Mackey. Treasurer, Mark Sample. Secretary, Charlotte Stanbaugh. Our 2015 officers, President Cameron Brown. Vice President, Kennedy Rankin. Secretary, David Prygowski. And Treasurer, Nada Showman. Thank you all for your efforts during the past four years. Four years ago, our current graduating class entered the hallways of Etzel Ford High School with one goal in mind. Tonight, this goal has been realized. The time has come to confer the much-deserved honor to our graduating class. So without any further delay, I call upon our counseling department to come forward and assist in the presentations of our diplomas to the class of 2014. Family and friends, I respectfully ask everyone to remain seated during this portion of the program so that everyone can get a good view of the ceremony. Thank you. Would the first group of graduates please rise.